How do you know that? The big shoe was supposed to go in the back. Big oh shoe. gosh, yeah. The big shoe goes in the back. So they had them on. They had them on wrong. No. I guess this can't go on that side, can it? Because this doesn't fit in here, does it? The hole is too small. Yeah, let me check the other side. Yeah, so we were going to, you know, put the uh, drum back on the other side there and I let me get a light let's pause a second I'm not planning very well but so I had put this well we want to start with showing them the new drums but I'd already put this side together I was gonna I'm gonna show you the other side but I just want to take this one back off and take a look at it and see if this is also is also backwards wrong. yeah and it's not. So you can see that, see the big shoe, and here's the little shoe. The big shoe should always be at the back of the, back of the car. So I actually am going to have to take the shoes off the other side, even though they're good shoes. They installed them wrong, so. Anyway. At least we know this side. Yeah, right? just confirming this side's right. And then uh, we just made our video a little longer, but I want to show you how to do it right. So we're going to have to take those shoes off that side and put it back together. But just a little bit more information for you, I guess. So here we go. All right, so friends, just wanted to show you, first of all, the drums that we got back. I, last uh, you had seen us working on the back end, I think you had seen we took these, uh, hard to get those drums off, and I'll show you why in a minute, but just wanted to show you that we took these drums and we had them machined, so the surface is all nice and flat now. There is no ridge out on the edge that was really catching on those shoes and making it hard for us to get off. It's all straight all the way across now. And just to note, this car here, it's, uh, it's kind of pretty crazy, but also kind of cool that I uh, took it to two different machine shops, auto machine shops, and neither one of them could do it because the drum was too big. Uh, most cars are probably, you know, half this size and weight and half, you know, and and so nobody could turn these big bad boys. So, you know, what did I do? I took it to the truck stop. You know, I took it to the truck shop where they repair uh, semis and utility trucks and stuff like that. And they said, hey, no problem. That's small for us. So they put it on their machine, was able to handle it and got it done. So got that machine surface all nice and then the next thing I did was um, you know in preparation for putting that back on I, I noticed that the had the shoes were a little bit glazed so I took just a little piece of sandpaper there on a sanding block and I kind of just went around and knocked the glaze off of it um, and then before I put this drum on, I'm going to clean both with some brake cleaner. And um, you always want to make sure any loose materials are off so that it does get a good seat. So, but before I can do that, as I was as I was doing that sanding, I noticed that they've actually got the brake shoes on the wrong side on this side of the car. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take these off and 
they're they're reversible so it, it's not a problem but it's just going to take a little work but uh, I guess I'll get to show you little bits of how to take these shoes apart and put it back together now if you've never done this before what I suggest you do is actually take a picture of it um, take a picture of it from several different points and that way if you're going to put it back together um, and you can't remember how you took it apart you can look at the pictures and it'll show you the other thing I do is if this spring comes off this side I kind of put the spring on this side and I put it in the position I took it off again it just reminds me how it was on there um, I've done this a, a gajillion times so for me I, I know how it goes apart and how it goes back together um, but if you're not familiar with it I do recommend a picture several different pictures and then you can go oh yeah okay that's how it went back together but I'm gonna take these brake shoes apart now and I'm gonna change the shoes to the other side make that right and then finish putting it back together the other thing I wanted to show you if you guys remember when I was trying to take that drum off it wouldn't come off because it, the, the shoes were actually wore into this a little bit and so the shoes were out farther and, and so what I had to do is I had to come through this little hole back here and the tool I was using I was coming up in through there through that hole and I was having to one one thing you got to use is like a screwdriver you got to push this lever out this is the adjusting the automatic adjustment lever and you got to push this out so then you can turn this little star wheel here and when you turn this this moves the brake pads either together or apart and and so when you put it back together you actually also have to do that in order to when you put it back together you want to adjust that out just so it's snug just so it's just touching just slightly dragging you don't want it tight at all but you don't want a lot of slot between these shoes and the drum because that has to get made up with your brake pedal and the brake you know the brake fluid because this is what pushes these brake shoes out this cylinder here and if these are too far away it takes a lot of fluid to push apart to hit to make the brakes start to work so that's how your shoes are adjusted so I guess the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take these brake shoes off and swap them around so then I can finish putting this back together not excited about it I didn't think I had to do that tonight but gotta do her get her done do it right so I'm gonna get my tools for that I don't know Alex we can show them that if you want well bits and pieces of it anyway all right so I just want to show you the tools I'm going to use to change these shoes don't need many it's pretty simple uh, but they're specialty tools so you, you do have to to buy them but they're not expensive and these work on 98 percent of these older cars so one is this spring removal tool and it goes on here you just there's a there's a pin you can see coming through here into the and basically it's like a little star and 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 it's um so it's open on the other sides so you guys you use your finger and you hold that pin in on the back side here and then you use this to just push in and then you can turn it and then that spring will come off see there now actually I don't want to do that until after I get those other springs off but I wanted to show you how that works pretty simple and then the other tool is the spring removal tool and how this works is it's got this funky little thing here you know funky little thing and then you go like this and you just turn it and that kind of gets underneath that spring and then you pop it over like that I mean I, I my bad I should have had safety glasses on I'm gonna get my safety goggles on um, because you want to, but you want to be careful too. You, you can control them, but sometimes they might get away from you. So it's a good idea to have safety glasses on and 
My bad, I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna get that. But this is the other tool before I do any other springs. But you do the same thing with this one. See this little thing here, it kinda goes down and it goes underneath in here and then you're able to, once you get over here, then now you're between this and the spring and then you can just pop it out and that spring will come off. These two springs and these two springs really are what holds everything together so and then I got this screwdriver because you can see how this shoe it's got this little clip here this pin this is for the brake lever actually uh, no, I guess I'll show you that when I get it apart but that pin's got to come in through here this holds that that lever in the back you can't see it right now but this holds that on there so Sometimes I like to just get this loosened up right now while it's while it's held and it's sometimes easier to do. And then the little hammer, you know, is for a little love. Uh, kind of moves around on you, so you know, it can be a pain in the butt. I'm gonna get a little bit smaller screwdriver. But that's that's about it. So what am I gonna do next? What was I going to do? Oh, my safety glasses. Gotta get my safety glasses. Just in case. So this spring I took out, goes like that. You know, so then I take this and I kind of put it over here like that. Yeah. I guess this can't go on that side, can it? Because this doesn't fit in here, does it? The hole is too small. Disregard this minor blunder. I've actually realized that this shoe does not accommodate in this location back here. So I'm really surprised, but I guess it's an old beast and that's just the way it is. I would have thought for sure that shoe should have been on the back. But what I'm seeing now is that, that it can't. Well, I guess let's show them the, the, where we found out. Why? Show all my mistakes and blunders? Yeah. Well, no, so, just just why, how we figured it out. At well, least. because see the hole that's on this one? The big hole? This one's got a tiny hole. Yeah. And you need this big hole for this thing to go into. All right, so, you know, here it is. Learning experience. Learning experience for Gary and Gary's Garage. This is embarrassing. But it, you know, I don't know. It is what it is. You can't um, be right all the time. You can't be right all the time. So, I might as well put it back together how it was. You know, just practice, I guess. Well, we showed you how some of the stuff works anyway. Gee whiz. Oh my god. Well, like I got nothing else to do. Well, we'll be back when this is done. We're just going to put this back together. But you guys know Sorry. how that works. By going back together, just, you know, disregard everything. <laughs> I'm gonna hate to see this car drive away. I can tell you that right now. The street beast. So stay with us everybody. Sorry I'm rambling on. I'm getting tired. Um, but looking forward to uh, seeing you next time and continuing work on the, the big old luxury monster cruiser. And gotta finish up, put the tires on before I fall asleep tonight. So. Have a good one, everybody. Thanks for joining. Appreciate all your support. Hope you enjoy watching me and Alex work on this car. Um, we're having a fun time. Till next time, thanks again for joining. Thanks for your support. Bye-bye. Okay.
Let me know when we're ready. So that would be now. Okay, we're ready. All right, team. Hey, gonna just show you. I know I showed you earlier, you know, how you take that spring, those springs off, is, you know, with this thing, and you twist it around, pry it. 